Okay, we're finally going to learn how to take an equation in general form and turn it into vertex or standard form. That means we have ax squared plus bx plus c, and we want it to look like a times x minus h squared plus k. This is a process called completing the square, and it goes like this. Suppose we have x squared plus 6x plus 7. We need to make this fit into vertex form, and to do that, we need to mess with it a little bit. I'll tell you right now that h in the vertex form is always going to equal b over 2, or half of b. In this example, 6 over 2 equals 3. So we need to get something that we can factor into x plus 3 squared. Well, if we expanded it, x plus 3 squared is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 9. That's pretty close to what we have, so how can we make that? Well, why don't we just add a 9 into our equation? Is that allowed? No. That would be super math illegal. When we mess with equations, we always need to make sure we preserve equality. Because if we just added or took away whatever we wanted, we wouldn't be doing math anymore. We'd just be wasting time. This means that when you add something, you need to also take it away. Then we're just adding zero, really, and nobody can get mad at us for that. So, we can add a 9 here, as long as we take 9 away later on. Okay, here's where the magic happens. This part of the expression factors into x plus 3 squared, and then 7 minus 9 is equal to negative 2. And that's it. It's in vertex form. Let's do another example with less lecturing and just the steps. Complete the square to put x squared minus 10x plus 28 into vertex form. Step 1. I like to write the equation with some empty boxes to leave room for what I'm going to add and then take away. Step 2. What goes in the box? It's always going to be b divided by 2 squared. So b in this quadratic is negative 10. Negative 10 divided by 2 equals negative 5. We square that to get 25. So 25 goes in both of our boxes. Step 3. This part is going to factor into x minus 5 squared. And then we just simplify what's left over, leaving us with an answer of x minus 5 squared plus 3. Okay, one more. I need to show you what to do if a isn't 1. Consider 2x squared plus 4x minus 4. We're going to take that 2 out of the first part of our equation, so it becomes 2 times x squared plus 2x, and then minus 4 on the end there. Then we add our boxes. We add one box inside of the brackets, which means it's actually multiplied by that 2, so we need to subtract 2 times the box on the end, keeping things equal. Now we just do it like normal, ignoring the number out front. That means that b is 2. So b divided by 2 squared equals 2 divided by 2 squared, which is 1 squared, which is 1. Let's put that 1 in our boxes. So the 2 stays out front, and then we have x plus 1 squared, and then minus 4 minus 2 equals minus 6, making our final answer 2 times x plus 1 squared minus 6. To recap, here are our steps for completing the square. If a is not 1, then you need to take a out of the first two terms of the quadratic and proceed from there. Then, we rewrite our equation with the placeholder boxes. We fill those boxes with b over 2 squared, 
And then we factor the first part of the quadratic into x plus b over 2 squared and simplify the rest.